Yo, what's up guys, Jolby here, and in my last video I showed you this address over here is from Vitalik Buterin, CEO of Ethereum, and in last video I showed you that every single time when he dumped his altcoins, market crash. So he done it in past, and he done it 5 days ago, like you can see it over here, basically he received 50% of one meme coin, and he dumped it 5 days and 17 hours ago, and few hours later, market fully dumped. We went from 23,000 to like 19,000 on Bitcoin, and in past he done it multiple times and every single time market crash. So by now we can already let's say no every single time when he dumps something that something is going on. So over here it's going to be necessary to set it but he make like $600 profit from this sell which he got for free. And then over here we have another address of Vitalik, it's called Vitalik.eth and he done something else over here. So he didn't dump anything, but what he did, we can open these two transactions, and over here you can see that he borrowed 100,000 Rai, or how to pronounce this, for 200 Ethereum or $308,000, and in another one he borrowed 50,000 of Rai for 300 wrap Ethereum or $462,000. So if you don't know what is this Rai, basically this is supposed to be something like like stablecoin but is not actually pegged to one dollar it's a bit different i can show you charts like you can see over here if you go to like three months chart it's always like 2.8 or 2.7 we can go all and pretty much this is supposed to be a bit more stable than ethereum or um, bitcoin and then people are using it when they are going to borrow some crypto but it was pretty volatile when he done this you can see it over here it went to like three dollars and then dumped immediately to 2.5 but let's go back and over here we can see it a bit better for example those 200 ethereum which he borrowed 100,000 Rai for it, he immediately exchange for 286,000 of USDC. And over here we can go and calculate 271,159 with how much USDC he got, 286,498. So his average price for buying USDC was what is this was 0 0.94 so that was immediately when it crashed first time and then over here after it he exchanged he borrowed another 50,000 uh, rai for 300 ethereum and here he exchanged 10,000 rai for 28,000 then 10,000 for 27 but this is dai and pretty much if you go over here and type this this is same exactly like a USDC. You can see price is almost the same. If you go one day chart, they are basically following each other. And why is this? Is because DAI is actually backed by USDC. And I also heard that they are also having a lot of stable in uh, Coinbase and that they are trying to make interest. So I am not really big fan of DAI. So please be careful with it. I am not recommending it, but I am not financial advisor. And let's continue. Another 10,000 Rai he exchanged for 28,000 USDC and last of 20,000 he exchanged for 56,000. But why am I saying all of this to you? Pretty much this over here 500 ethereum for vitalik ceo of ethereum this is absolutely nothing this token over here where he got 600 dollars from this random meme which sent him tokens which he didn't ask for and then he sold it this absolutely don't mean anything to it but every single time before deep he's selling some altcoins so then he exchanged 500 ethereum to usdc when he's starting to crash just to show people that he believe in it or something like that because what i'm thinking of course is not financial advisor i think that he is scared to give any financial advisor because he is high, high position and please give me comment what you think about this idea but i think every single time when he knows something that he wants to give some info to community but he cannot and then he is doing some things like this so people which know how to control his wallet go and then do the same try to comment on this and if you even understand me and let me know what you think